Hello everyone, it's Josie here, back with another video. I am going to be doing a kind of like a briar review thing. And I know I've been doing a lot of these, but it's just been a lot of, um, it's been like a long time since I've gotten a lot of briars, and I wanted to show you guys all my briars. But, um, yeah, so I actually have not found a name for her yet. Um, somebody put it in the comments below on one of my last videos saying Maple would be a cute name, which I actually really like that name. So I'm going to have it Maple something. So if you could think of anything else, like, uh, sweet as Maple, and then her name would be Maple, or, you know, something like a show name, because I'm going to need a show name for her. But I do really love the name Maple. So, yeah, let's get started with the video. So, like I said, it's just going to be like a bridal review, and I just got this bridal um, today. And it is a very pretty bridal. I got it for, I think, $2.50 on ebay and it's a really cool bridal and it's an english bridal because i've already had like three western bridals so i decided to get an english one and this was actually like a briar made one um but you know they just sold me it but they didn't have it in like a like in a box or like a bag already like what the original package packaging so um it wasn't like that but i mean i know it's for briar traditionals and I brought up a few of my new horses that I was going to put it on to show you guys kind of how to put it on and off. So, yeah. All right. So, hopefully you guys can see this. I pretty much just stood you up by, like, a cup that was in my room. So, all you have to do is take off this little band around here, around, like, the throat latch. That thing pops off. And then there's one underneath the muzzle, which that one, or the nose... Um, and that one just kind of slides off. You got to be very careful since this is briar made. Um, you know, they are very fragile and they will break, you know, any second. So I got them unhooked. So now all you have to do is take it off. And that is what it looks like. So if you would like to swip it, switch it, sorry, not swip it, um, to a different horse. Oh, this horse is higher. I'll be right back. Okay, so I kind of got it balanced up here. But all you have to do is just put this over there. Hopefully you guys can see this. And then you just put it over the ears. And this part of it gets kind of locked on by these little, um, whatever you call these little latches. And then you just tighten them up. So I just tightened up that one. And I'm going to tighten it up a little bit more. And then the one underneath, oh my gosh, you guys probably can't even see anything. I'm trying my best, guys. The one underneath the throat, or the um, nose, or whatever, the underneath the nose, like the jaw kind of one. You just tighten it up like that. And then there's a second little loop that it has to go through in order to um, stay locked in. So there it is. And then I'm just going to pull this tightly. I mean, this is a pretty easy thing to use, and now I've got it locked on. So yeah, a little bit better, you can just take that off, and I still have to tighten it up around the nose a little bit more. But that is what it looks like, and these are really nice. I really encourage you guys, um, this is a great product. Like I said, I encourage you guys to go and get this because, like, the leather is really nice on it, and, um, like, all the little hooks and stuff are super nice. They're not hard to get into. They're... You know, they come off easy, and that's, like, the little, um, bridle thing that if you had a horse that would open its mouth, then that would be, like, the bit, and they come with reins. They're not unattachable. They're, like, stuck on there, but that's okay because, I mean, I wouldn't want to use a bridle without reins. But, yeah, it looks really cute. This is Zenyatta, one of my newer horses, and, um, just looks really cute on her, and then, yeah, those are those two horses, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this was a kind of short video, but I wanted to just give a small little review on this thing. And I'm definitely going to be using it in my jumping um, divisions and my racing divisions. Since, again, Zenyatta is a racehorse, I'm definitely going to use this for her. Um, even if it is just Hunter English, it can still be a racing, um, a jockey one. So, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Bye, guys. Come on, boy. This is the biggest jump we've ever done. Come on. Good boy. 
Alright boy, this is our last jump. Are you ready? Well, it's okay, boy. We'll get him next time. Okay, this is our last jump, and then we'll be done. Good boy. Look, we only got one fault. That means that we win, because everybody else got two. Good job. And the winners are... Ava with Jimmy. Come and claim your prize, everybody. Come on. Woo! And the winner gets a brand new horse. Woo! A little puppy, a trophy, and a pillow with her horse's initials on it. Oh, I'm so happy. Good boy, Jimmy. Come and claim your prize.